Well, matters to do with uh, COVID protocols, uh, uh, the responsibility of the Ministry of Health. Of course, as Kenya Airports Authority, uh, we do support uh, what the Ministry of Health uh, comes up with from time to time. Uh, so that we can address the issue of uh, uh, this pandemic. But um, what I have seen, or we have seen over the last two years, is a very uh, clear uh, path towards making the whole uh, COVID protocol uh, regime to be more uh, user-friendly. Automation of the, some of the processes uh, have been you know, done, and we believe that the Ministry of Health will continue to support that um, uh, automation process. But uh, I think other aspects of the protocols will be best uh, handled by the Ministry of Health. We just facilitate what it is that they prescribe for the country. Thank you very much. So, Maybe we could just switch. Mm. Okay. Okay. Switch the in the in All right. Thank you. Um, uh, first of all, my name is Abdullahi Adan Hassan, uh, director of iFly Air. Uh, today we have launched a maiden flight for scheduled service to Wajia, of which just by the schedule departing Wilson 2:30 in the afternoon and uh, arriving here at 3:40. Departing back from also from Wajia at 4:10 uh, p.m. to arrive at 5:20. As per the question, iFly Air is all about connectivity. We operate conveniently out of Wilson Airport. Wilson Airport is known for the hub of all, like 80% of the traffic uh, locally departs and uh, under, uh, 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 under Wilson. So, us connecting Wajia in the afternoon flight will give connectivity that somebody from other destinations, Mombasa. Eldoret, Lodua, can connect directly with our flights departing 2.30 to Wajia Airport, conveniently, without uh, disorganizing their program. Maybe what does this mean now for the people in Wajia? Most uh, businessmen maybe want to do transactions in Nairobi, come back in the afternoon, um, in terms of traders, maybe in terms of ferrying cargo. Before the road network is now completed, um, air transport is seen as the main link between now Wajia and the rest of Kenya. Maybe what does this mean for the people of Wajia and also people who want to do business in Wajia who are from do not? Yeah. Our flight comes in uh, with a way that uh, free trade can exist with the up country and here Wajia. Our timings is favorable to the business community that somebody can fly into Wajia with other airlines in the morning and fly back without sleeping in Wajia in the evening. Does his business in Wajia and then goes back to Nairobi. Vice versa, departs in the afternoon Wajia uh, from Wilson Airport, arrives in the evening and does his transaction overnight and the following morning or the following day departs. So our timing was strategically to address the problem that exists in Wajia currently, where if the morning aircraft, if you miss it, then it's up to the following day. Day. But now we have solved that problem that even if you miss the morning flights of the other carriers, then you have afternoon flight to catch up with the iFly Air. So what we can say is us flying to that particular timing on so this particular route expands trade, expands business to all the communities who are uh, working in Wajira Airport and Wajira the town. And um, you've seen that your approach in terms of the routes that you're servicing are most, uh, mostly... Uh, from Nairobi to Wajir. And of course, uh, we'll keep you posted, uh, you know, posted on uh, during our subsequent bulletin.